Now on the night team, a major heat wave is impacting not just us, but much of the country. The city of Philadelphia becoming the latest city to issue a heat emergency. And get this, ironically, cities like Charleston, South Carolina, which are usually sweltering at this time of year, are nearly 10 degrees cooler than Louisville. ABC's Zareen Shaw has more. Summer officially off to a scorching start. Don't look at a calendar, look at a thermometer. Dangerous real field temperatures across much of the country. For parts of the Northeast tonight, built up energy from the oppressive heat dome triggering severe thunderstorms. Fans gathered at Boston's Fenway Park for a Lana Del Rey concert tonight, told to evacuate and seek shelter immediately. More than 127 million Americans from the Midwest to New England trapped under life-threatening heat and the heat dome is actually expanding from east to west. In Philadelphia, the city declaring a heat emergency, opening dozens of cooling centers. I moved up here from Durham, North Carolina. I'm originally from upstate New York, specifically because I was done with the southern heat. So I feel like Philly deceived me a little bit. It's with high temperatures, major disruptions along the nation's busiest rail corridor. Amtrak and Washington, D.C. metro trains slowed because tracks expand and overhead wires stretch in the heat. A broken circuit breaker forcing Amtrak to suspend service for hours from Philadelphia through New York City to New Haven, Connecticut. A brush fire snarling New Jersey commuter train. The train turned off and we were stuck on the tracks for I think maybe an hour or two um, with no air conditioning. And out west, wildfires still raging out of control in New Mexico. President Biden approving a major disaster declaration for the state, sending more federal help for devastated communities. More than 23,000 acres have burned and there is still zero containment. At least 1,400 buildings destroyed near the town of Ruadoso. Tonight, some areas charred by wildfire facing another challenge. Storms and flash flooding unleashing this river of mud. The scorched earth just not able to absorb the heavy rain from intense thunderstorms. Zoreen Shah, ABC News, Los Angeles.